I tell you what, we're taking a little uh, trip back in time now. Uh, Dwayne Taylor's here from uh, Future Shop. Morning, Dwayne. How are you? Good morning, Kurt. How are you doing? Good to see you, man. The Atari? The Atari system. So where, where did you find that? I, I wish I knew where we found it, actually. It got it sent from headquarters. Um, but, you know, the Atari system was uh, real old school. Yeah. Uh, this past Friday, Future Shop celebrated their 30th birthday. Right. Um, so we've been around since 1982. Well, a lot of people don't know is it started out as a single store in B.C., right? Single store in Burnaby, B.C. Yeah. Uh, now we have over 147 stores across Canada. Love it. So we're a major retailer, and I figured... What better way to celebrate than show and going old back to new. in time? Yeah, yeah, why not? So the, the, here's the uh, the original cassette playing uh, boombox. Oh yeah, you remember? Right? Everyone remembers, you know, <laughs> having you know the Fresh Prince of Bel Air carrying that around his shoulders. So. Listen, listen, I think I had one of these bad boys. Yeah. <laughs> and then we uh, we've certainly come a long way with a, a radio like this. Yeah. Right? So uh, that's a Sirius satellite radio. Right. Um, so what that allows you to do is using an internet connection gives you pretty much any radio channel you want in the world. There's thousands of radio channels available now. So we went from from, you know, taking pens and winding cassettes all the way up to internet-based radio. We talk about the Atari, and of course now we've got the Xbox, uh, PlayStation, what, 3 now? Is yeah, it? PlayStation 3. This is the Xbox 360. This yeah. is the Star Wars edition, so, you know, looks real nice, just like R2-D2. Look, C-3PO, is it, this used to be C-3PO. It used to be through C-3PO. Right? Now yeah. you can have your own C-3PO even, at home. Even the wiring <laughs> you can see there, and video games, oh my gosh, how yeah. far they've come. Video games I even remember the old, uh, even before Atari, they had the Pong game, you know? Yeah. You'd, you'd hook it up to your TV and, oh <laughs> my, my God. My brothers was, used to play Pong yeah, when yeah. I was growing up. It was ridiculous. Yeah. Um, uh, then we've got uh, ways of listening to music, and they have certainly changed. Absolutely. So oh. this <laughs> is your old CD Walkman. I remember I actually had one of those growing Did up you? as well. Yeah. I had the sport one. Remember the yellow one? The yellow one, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so everyone remembers, you know, having a pocket not big enough to fit those. Yeah, they had a clip. Them, they were a clip, clip yeah. yeah. Holding them straight to make sure that you didn't get the song skipping and that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, this one over here is the new Galaxy Player, um, which, again, is a, a Wi-Fi-based device. Um, it allows you to load. Up to, instead of you know 15 songs on a CD, you can have thousands of songs now digitally, right. which is great. Right. And you can listen to them wirelessly, right? Listen to them wirelessly. Those are the new Monster um, Inspiration headsets. Those are pretty phenomenal. Yeah. Um, one of the best audio qualities on the market right now. Is that now. right? Absolutely. And it's completely wireless? Completely wireless. There's wow. a wired option as well with yeah. the iPod cord. Cool. Cameras. Man, oh man. Well, you talk about cameras in uh, handheld devices and phones and stuff, but still, the uh, advancements in photography for the average person have come such a long way. For sure. So this bad boy <laughs> is with the original Polaroid. Man, uh, oh man. This was actually a re pretty revolutionary device of its time because it allowed you to take a picture and instantly view it. That's right. Um, now all digital cameras allow you to do that. And I brought two with me today. We've got uh, the Canon PowerShot. This is actually a waterproof and tough camera. That's the Canon, uh, Canon's newest uh, uh, one of those models, right? Absolutely, that, uh, yeah. is absolutely amazing. They're great for taking on trips and doing for sure. whatever you want. If you're one of those adventurous people taking it around the world, this yeah. is a great device to carry with you. And pretty easy these days to get into advanced photography, eh, Dwayne, with, uh, with all the innovations. For sure. So this is the Canon T4i digital camera. Um, it's a digital SLR camera. It's based for people that are going to work their way into professional photography, right? So if you're not, you know, a pro just yet and you want something with a longer lens, you want to get a great zoom out of it. Yeah. Great Great digital quality. That's a good way to go. Despite all the advances with uh, with uh, phones and camera, and taking pictures with phones and so on, I still like the idea of a good quality 35 millimeter, be it um, yeah. you know the old style film or the uh, the digital way to go. For sure. And I tell you what, we were just talking the other day. Even uh, even you know 10 to 12 years ago or eight or nine years ago, uh, the televisions that we were buying were. Uh, were super expensive. Now they've come down in price and advanced. Sure. Uh, the technology has advanced even from then, right? Absolutely. Uh, this is just a standard uh, LG flat screen, 32 inch um, LED display. Uh, there's a lot of amazing TVs available now. I mean, we have uh, TVs that are super thin and light, less than an inch thin now. Yeah. Uh, they go up to 70, even 80 inches. Some that you can't even fit on your wall sometimes. I know. So they're they're pretty phenomenal. A big improvement from the big, huge, thick boxes we used to carry yeah. around. And what's this that's connected to the TV? That is a boxy box. It's a D-Link media streamer. Um, what it allows you to do is stream media through the internet directly to your TV. So that's a pretty revolutionary device in the sense that before, you know, DVD discs, you'd have to get a DVD player, put it right in. Yeah. Now you have inst Nobody instant access to Nobody does that anymore. I know. I mean, the Blu-ray is pretty well ancient now. Exactly. That's for sure. crazy. You've got the, all the latest innovations at Future. Which uh, location are you at? Well, where? I'm actually at the Ottawa South location right down on Bank Street. Yeah. Um, so we're a really large store, but there's a couple other locations across Ottawa as well. Yeah, yeah. You can always come down and see 
see us. We have trained product experts. So if you're confused, you don't know how some of this new tech works, you like some of the old stuff, we yeah. can show you the transitions and help you make the right choice. Very cool stuff. Thanks for coming by for today. Sure. Pleasure Thanks, to see good. you. 30 years ago, eh? 30, <laughs> 30 years. Dear God. Still in my 20s then. It's sad, man. <laughs> <laughs>